Well, hello, this is Fortman of German metal band The Apocalyptician Writer. Um, stay tuned and have fun listening to the radio station. First, how are we doing? I'm uh, fine. First of all, let me congratulate you. Um, I got the copy of your new album, and and, and it's it's awesome. It's it's damn good. So, how does it feel to write something, you know, a material which is uh, worth waiting for, and your fans love it? Yeah, it's always a ch- big challenge to 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 um, to do good albums again and again. I mean, we are now doing music for almost twenty years, and right. uh, it was it was for us. Uh, we had both. We had a lot of ideas for a heavy electric album, and uh, at the same time, we we, we started with uh, experimenting with some acoustic instruments, mm-hmm. and uh, so we we decided to take to do a double album to show the, the the big progress in the band at the moment. That's awesome. And sound of the band has evolved immensely over the years, right from uh, soft and stronger to tape taper. Uh, do you ever look back and wonder, you know, uh, how you guys? Created that uh, sound. I mean, yeah. The, during the time, I mean, of course, the the, the personal interests and um, bases changed. You know, and mm-hmm. then we started with like angry teenagers and uh, tried to make the most extreme music we <laughs> right. could ever imagine. And um, but now over the years, I mean, life changes every yeah. day. You know, change uh, true. New, new influences come in and uh, all in the band are very much into traveling around the world, you know, so right. when we return home and meet again, then of course always new ideas pop up and we rehearse and uh, it's always a good thing, I think, that uh, because we want to keep this, this uh, spirit of freedom alive in the band. Right. So, I mean, the band is not a typical metal band it's, it's, it has more influences from a lot of genres right. around so we, uh, we we always try to to, to mix it up in a, in a good way so that right. you can please your old fans but that, that you could at the same time you can uh, attract uh, new, new guys for the band so it's kind of a balanced thing I think right you guys you guys love to explore different territories in terms of songwriting uh, and and different sounds and different approaches. So, uh, if if I talk about Tave Tafer, how do you think you guys have managed to uh, you know maintain that balance in terms of uh, experimenting new sounds? I mean, if you start writing an album, it's it's not clear at, at that moment right. what the final product will be. So you in the beginning the first. 10 songs, it's, it's kind of more riffs and choruses and verses, and then you start to to, 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 to look for, uh, is there a, le- a red line, you know, yeah. you can follow, so, because, I mean, it's easy, it's easier to make a good song, and it's very hard to make a good album, you know? Absolutely. So, uh, so this time we had this topic with uh, deep, so deep, deeper, it means deeper uh, in English, you know, so every was everything was rooted right. and connected to this overall topic. So the lyrics are very intense, and you go into the deep, you know. And also the music is probably the most serious and unhappy music we ever did. <laughs> because um, in, the, in the past we had, of course, you know, on every record there was like more easy listening songs. But right. But this time we we decided. This this concept of deepness is is, um, is very important this time. So we left some songs mm-hmm. um, we had recorded, but we didn't put it on the album. Maybe we will do it later on an, on the next album or so. But this time it was um, very strict, um, limited to to that topic in the beginning. You know. That's awesome. And in terms of lyrics, I mean, you have always experimented. You you went from English to uh, English German, and then all the way to German. So, uh, how has that sort of impacted your international fan base? It makes it more difficult, I think. Mm-hmm. Because, uh, I mean, the 
band is the, the band is very it's very hard to promote the band outside of the German speaking areas. Mm -hmm. Even though I think it's music is an international thing, you know. Absolutely. And I mean, we are not we are not um, and we are not uh, poets, you know, that are sitting on stage and, and reading books, you know. True. So I think um, if a band is on stage. No matter if you can understand the lyrics or not, it's 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 working because the music transports the energy and the the, the all the impressions. Right. Because all this de all this death and blood metal bands, I mean, nobody cares what they sing about. Mm -hmm. it, it, you can't still un you, you simply cannot understand what they sing about. So, but we sing in a very uh, good way, mm -hmm. and our singer has a very clear voice. So yes. Of course, everybody is listening to the lyrics, and then of course they start uh, to ask us, "Oh, what what are you singing about?" <laughs> so, and especially, I mean, I think the fans are much more tolerant in that case, right. uh, and uh, but uh, organizers of concerts and and and, and uh, um, yeah, writers, Absolutely. they always wonder um, how to promote this band outside of Germany, but uh, I can tell you we did a lot of shows outside uh, Germany, especially in, in, in Europe, and we also did some uh, Russian tours. Awesome. If we do, if we are on stage, it, it, it's gonna work. It's gonna work every time, and um, mm. I'm convinced it, it would work everywhere, but uh, it's, it's definitely um, disadvantage to have a German band name and uh, German lyrics to, to make the first step into a country that's, that's it's, for sure. It's, it's not really that case. I mean, in terms of the way you guys have been progressing, uh, I really feel, uh, you know, it has to be done in such a way that the band gets critically acclaimed outside Germany as well. And because you have fans everywhere. I've been, I've been digging a lot of details about you and also about the fans you have outside uh, Europe as, as well as in, in, in Asia and America as well. I uh, just hope to see you guys playing some shows in US as well as here in India. Once we get uh, an invitation from um, from India, it, I, it think, I think it was uh, one and a half year ago in, in January 2013, I think. Mm -hmm. But that was the same. But that was the same time when we were booked on this uh, seventy thousand tons of metal. Seventy thousand tons of metal, right? Yeah, so it was not possible for us to, to make this indie show, but it was an invocation from a university in Bangalore, actually. actually. Oh, that's awesome! And um, yeah, and um, I know because our our manager, he's also the manager of the Swiss uh, band from Switzerland, from Illawaki, you know. Oh, cool. And, yeah, and th and that band already played, I think, in Bangalore. Yes. So. Yes. So they told they told us about it, so that it was uh, great. So. I mean, we are now ready with a new album and start to tour in different areas of the world and um, of course we hope that we get right. invitations from, from, from everywhere. So we, we, of course, we are ready to go everywhere. I understand that. That's cool. And in terms of songwriting for Tiefer, how was the approach this time? Uh, what sort of, uh, uh, you know, in what sort of mindset did you guys went inside the studio and started uh, writing material? We uh, we wanted to, to make a change in the sound from the beginning because everybody was um, I wouldn't say tired, but mm -hmm. we were um, we we did a lot. Of, we had a lot of experience with the typical classical heavy metal sound, right. especially in in, in in case of uh, if you down tune the guitars. It's it's. It's very similar to do it every time, but uh, this time we had uh, a lot of influence from uh, from electronic yes. music. This time, especially from from extreme synthesizers, so we uh, we mixed it up in the studio in an extreme way. So we had like a very extreme uh, rhythm guitar sound, awesome. and at the same time we had very extreme sounding uh syn synthesizers with distortion mm -hmm. so and we combine we combine it in the mixing process wow. so um the result was what was also because usually if you turn on the distortion on a heavy metal guitar mm -hmm. right. and in the typical way in the typical way 
you get a lot lot of distortion True. but the sound the overall sound is is not very clear it's it's really hard to hear the details yes so if you turn if you turn off the, the distortion the guitar becomes more bright more clear right but the heaviness is the heaviness is gone you know yeah so this time it was kind of mixed you know we had these extreme synthesizers yes on one uh, on one track and then we had over it this um not so extreme distorted guitars yes and and a very extreme distorted bass guitar so as a big combination of this it's great created something really fresh and uh so far a lot of journalists they're really pleased about uh, the sound so mm -hmm. and um, we are looking forward to 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 do it live in the same way wow so it's gonna be fun I, I hope so that surely will be there's a great balance in the album like the way you explained in terms of distortion as well as the synthesizer there's a great balance and in terms of you know you guys are inspired totally i can clearly hear that in your music being you know you've been part of this musical journey for such a long time now what sort of inspires you to keep evolving uh, you know die cop like in grisha oh i think everybody is a, is a, is a music everybody in the band is a music fan you know and mm -hmm. we are always very keen and open with open ears we we we, uh, we check out a lot of bands all the time right so and then it's it's kind of a game you know everybody in the band is like hey guys i got a new band mm -hmm. you, you need to listen to it you know and, and and especially if we just we did this this all the trips when we composed the album mm -hmm. you know we had a lot of situations i mean you cannot play 24 hours a day of right. your own instrument you know you, you, you need relaxing time sitting at a campfire or sitting just at the house and drinking True. beer and just just doing stuff that, that the boys do when they hang yeah. around you know and then yeah. a lot of bands pop up and i mean today it's easy because you you, you to turn on the internet and go on youtube or whatever you have you you can play the <laughs> music to your to your friends right. and, um, so, so, so it, it's, it's, um, I think it's a good um, combination and this process, this changes of course every year, you know, and yeah. uh, we are now, we hang around for almost 20 years, you know, and uh, so it's, 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 it's changing all the time and, and, right. and I think this keeps us, um, keeps us um, going with this event. That's awesome and in terms of uh, like the upcoming tours what are the plans for the rest of uh, 2014 which different countries are you guys exploring this time um at the moment we have set up two tours at the moment we, we tour at the moment uh, the first headlining tours of course in in, in, in germany and then uh, it's a very huge tour because it's the biggest market for the band yes and uh, in uh, a few weeks before that, in uh, in, uh, in summer, we will uh, tour in Russia. Wow! And um, and in next year, in spring, we uh, we will do a very special acoustic tour. Mm -hmm. it's the first time we ever do an acoustic tour. Well, that's awesome. And uh, at the moment, yeah. And at the moment, the uh, book booking agency is setting up a European tour with two other bands. I am not sure if this got to work or not mm -hmm. so but we haven't we have in mind to do like a two year of touring before we, we do the next album right. so of course we, we hope that we can play as much countries as, as possible, possible but mm. as, as, as i told you right it's not it's not that easy because you you need someone in the country that that is interested in the band and uh, that um, sees a chance to bring the band over and I mean in Europe you can do everything with a car you know but yes. if you go to, to Australia America or whatever to India or China it's it's it's, it's gonna be very expensive because all this traveling costs it's, it's, it's a, a big yeah, amount that's, of money that's think. true and um, so probably you have to test it the, the only chance I see is that it's is doing festivals in that particular country at the beginning right and then probably to hope that, that, that the audience says okay this band was cool bring that back in the club for for maybe three or four shows right and and and, and continue with this but um yeah i don't know it's <laughs> we are we are long time <laughs> we are experienced musicians and yes. i know that a lot of wishes 
every musician has is uh, not so often the, the wishes to come to reality, you know. Yeah. So, but sometimes you need luck, you know, and yes, then everything goes uh, from without any pressure, you know, it just happens and then everybody's happy. So <laughs> now the album comes in two weeks, that's the release date. Yes. And from that time, I think the, 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 the game is, uh, the race is starting again. <laughs> Wonderful. And in terms of, uh, uh, like, you guys are from Germany, the, the roots are from Germany. So Germany, we all know, is is known as having the perfected the art of metal as well as beer. So from your own personal perspective, what are your preferences for, uh, you know, beers? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not a so experienced beer drinker. I, I, I think... <laughs> I like some beers, but more, more, not the typical strong beers. Mm -hmm. I'm, I prefer, yeah, I drink more uh, 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 wine. I prefer wine and uh, and champagne more uh -huh. than, than beer. Mm -hmm. So, but um, I'm I'm convinced that um, that uh, Germany has a lot of great beer brands. <laughs> right. So, and it's it's, it's 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 famous all around the world for for beer. So. Big yeah, music, that's, even that's music as well. Sure. Absolutely. Now, I'll just end the interview on a very short note. Uh, this might be a bit tricky question for you, but if I would have to ask you, how would you define the new album, Teeth Teefer, in just one sentence? I think it's the, it's, the, it's the heaviest and the softest album you can get in together, you know? Oh, perfect. That's it. Uh, you know, it's it's been a great great time having a chat with you. You spared some time today. I wish you all the best for the album, for the, your upcoming tour, and I'm hopeful that uh, you will come to India soon. Thank you. 